Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today we are going to talk about little things, but not the plain white ones, but the colored ones. In fact, colored little things are super interesting because they allow us to replicate color images using an ingenious mechanism. These photos will then come to life through a small light. So in this video, we are going to dive deeper into how, uh, into what we need to make them, how to create them and how to print them. So let's cut the chase and get into it. To make these beautiful little things, we will need a couple of important tools. In fact, the filaments and the printer used are key to achieve a great result. Let's start with the filaments. As I mentioned before, these colored little things are achievable through a super smart mechanism that needs a specific type of filament to work. In fact, we will have to buy a CMYW kit, which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and white. Some of you probably have already guessed where, uh, where we are going. In fact, those are the same colors uh, that you can buy when you're looking for some normal 2D printers cartridges. But uh, obviously the white is replaced by black. This is because there is a connection between 2D printers and 3D printers when talking about color lithophanes. In fact, these models use the same principle by going to create different shades through the overlay of the base colors. As we saw in one of the previous videos dedicated to lithophanes, the image went be visible when we had a light source behind our print. This uh, light will pass through the light areas and uh, um, not pass uh, through the dark ones. So you can imagine how critical uh, the filament you uh, buy is. So uh, to replicate the preview of the computer we need some specific shades. This is why this kit exists. For this video I've chosen to use the Rosa 3D kit and uh, Rosa 3D is a Polish company that I've uh, discovered and uh, get to know well at Fornext and that kindly sent to me this kit. As you can see uh, you can you will receive four the colors in this kit that are the ones that I've mentioned before and all these pools are one kilo. Uh, this kit costs about 75 euros, that is honest, I would say, uh, also because you will uh, be able to reuse these pools uh, by buying refills at a convenient price on Rosa 3D website. They have also sent me the guide they are working on for colored little things, as well as a, a super cool lamp model that we can customize with our little fane. But now that we have talked about the materials, let's move on with the printer, because unfortunately you will need a multicolor machine uh, to uh, create this effect. So a Bamboo Lab, uh, a Honey Cubic Cobra 3 combo or S1 combo, a Creality K2, or uh, some machine capable of multicolor printing. I've used my Honey Cubic Cobra 3 for this video, but you can use any machine you want. Well, now that we have understand what we need to create them, let's see how we can make them at the computer. Okay, so here we are at the computer to uh, take a look at the process uh, on with which we can create a colored lithophane. We will use uh, make my lithophane of Maker World. So we can simply click on Maker Lab and click on start to uh, enter the make my lithophane interface. Now we can create a new project from, from one of these buttons and um, this 
window will pop up. As you can see, there are uh, two columns, one for monochromatic lithophanes and one for colored lithophanes, uh, which are the subject of this video. And uh, you can also notice that there are uh, four templates for each of these versions. This is because you can choose to buy uh, one of the uh, lights from Bumble Lab uh, and uh, use one of their templates with the colored lithophane. But for this video, we're going to use the last option that is colorful lithophane without a frame. When we click on it, uh, this new window will pop up and we can click on pick image to choose the desired photo. I will take an example that is uh, also one of the photos that I've printed for a little fin of this video and I will um, first explain the most uh, simple workflow you can follow and then I will also explain to you uh, what uh, all those options that we have uh, can help us with. So let's start with the basic workflow. As you can see, um, as we upload the desired image, the website will transform it into a color lithophane. So we can simply click on download and download the file. As you can see, we can uh, select one of Bamboo Lab's uh, machines, uh, so the file will be already uh, ready <laughs> for the uh, slicer. But uh, don't worry if you want to use another brand, because um, I will show you how to do it. In fact, I've used an Anycubic Cobra 3 combo machine uh, for my little fans, so there is no problem. Let's uh, uh, click on continue. The website will generate the file and then we can download it. So in the meantime, I want to explain a little bit uh, about this slicer because we can use whatever slicer we want, but the most appropriate slicer uh, will be Orca Slicer uh, or Orca Slicer's Forks, Prusa Slicer, Bamboo Studio, those kind of software, uh, because they handle multicolor really well and they handle free MF files really well. Now we can click on download. I will show you an example with Anycubic Next Slicer, which is a fork of Orca Slicer. So we can import the file that we have generated. And as you can see, um, the software will tell us that we have a um, profile set for this machine with this uh, uh, material etc. But now we can simply uh, select our printer, our material and our um, profile and uh, we can eat on slice because all the settings that were set uh, for the uh, file while we downloaded the 3MF uh, are maintained. For example, you can see the layer height is 0.1 millimeters, the infill is 100%, uh, the wall loops are true, etc. So we can simply eat slice and the file will be ready. Let's get back to make my lithophane. So while this slices uh, the model, we can take a look at those options because uh, those allow you to create the file exactly how you want it. For example, in the size section, as you might have guessed, uh, we can set all the uh, parameters relative to the dimensions of the photo. For example, we can cut uh, the uh, areas that we don't want. We can also set uh, some proportions that we might uh, like, but uh, we can also scale or rotate the image. 
if we need it uh, for some reason. Furthermore, as you can see, right there we can uh, set the dimensions that we desired. For example, I can uh, make it smaller or I can make it bigger how much I want. Uh, obviously it uh, doesn't, um, it can't exceed the printer limits because uh, uh, Maker World doesn't allow it. Now we can move on to the image section where we can set uh, all the options relative to the um, photo itself, so the final effect of the image. As you can see, there are uh, a lot of options that are typical of um, photo editing uh, software, for example, Photoshop. You don't need to know exactly what a, a certain setting do, does, but uh, because you can simply experiment and try to find your uh, desired effect. I want uh, to mention another thing that is this color match option. This uh, um, allows you to choose uh, how the colors overlap. Um, as I have explained in the introduction, um, the final effect is rich uh, thanks to the overlap of different of the base colors. So with color match we can choose how the uh, colors will be laid um, and uh, this will lead to different effects. Now let's move on to the last section which is attribute and as you can see there are only <laughs> two options. This is because here we can set the uh, parameters relative to the margin, which is this frame right there. I usually leave the default uh, settings, but you can uh, um, modify them if you need to. Uh, the final tip I want to give you is this one. If you are playing with the uh, settings and you reach a strange effect, you can simply turn to the uh, default state by clicking on reset. So now let's see some results. So these are the results. I find them wonderful and somewhat magical because they go from something with a strange shape uh, to a color image with just the addition of a little light. I really like all of them, but uh, I particularly appreciate the Japanese landscape one because, in my opinion, is a small masterpiece. I didn't make an actual lamp for this video, but I'm really wondering whatever to do, because the classic lithophanes are cool, but the colored ones take lithophanes to another level. I was really happy to work with Rosa 3D's kit, because I simply loaded these filaments into the Ace Pro and pressed Sprint. I had really no problem with these materials and the results uh, that the kit allows you to get are seriously crazy. I would really recommend that you check out Rosa 3D website because they offer a super wide uh, variety of filaments that are really interesting. Of course you can also use these pools for regular prints if you want because the color are beautiful and bright so even classic models will pop out with this spools. I also want to give you a little spoiler because we will see this kit in another very special video. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Let me know down in the comments if you have already tried printing a colored lithophanes. In the meantime, if you like this video, you may also like these ones.